How's it going? I'm Tim. Connie. We're CU Space Cowboy, and these are our crazy tour stories. Um, so if you take a little close look under Connie's lip here, she's got a little shiner here. Uh, back in the day, when I used to play bass in the band, we were in Portland, Oregon. At this point in time, God bless the city of Portland, I love it. I've always had the worst luck there. We had our trailer stolen there, and I really came into this show wanting to redeem Portland. And first song in, I threw my bass, as I do, and as Taylor does now, I threw my bass as far off my body as I could, and I felt to connect, and I said, that was, that was either Connie or that was someone in the audience. And I turn around to uh, Connie saying, how does it look? And I was like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> and I think I asked if you wanted to stop the set. I said no. Yes. Yeah, because for me it was, oh cool, I'm pacing back and forth. Kind of, like back then we all played with our backs to the crowd. We were like that kind of band back then. So like I was like, oh, fancy around all of a sudden, like kind of like lights out for a second. And I was just like on my hands and knees like this. You were also like, wearing a white shirt. I was also wearing a white button-down <laughs> shirt, and I was on my hands and knees, and I spat out. My mouth was just filled up immediately, blood. I spat it out all over the floor. Got up, finished the song, and then, yeah, that's when I asked, like, how's it look? I and, said bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, so Jesse said, you're fine. You said bad, asked me if I want to continue. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Played the whole set, bleeding all over myself. And I think what we ended up discovering is that the tuning peg on my bass met with her tooth on the other side of her lip and just completely punctured through so it wasn't a it wasn't a gash it was like a it was a hole yeah it was a hole you could like see my teeth through it yeah um yeah and the only hospital open was a catholic hospital somewhere in portland so when you got two kids walking in with black fingernails and tattoos they wanted us right out yeah, of there and lobby. i was walking <laughs> cut, bleeding of all of myself still and they like took one look at me like horrified because yeah, I was like calm I was like whatever like I have the adrenaline because like we like finished the set we sold a bit of merch and I'm like okay like now it's starting to hurt let's go to the hospital um, and yeah they like looked at me like horrified and they like sat me down real quick like there was, the lobby was full of people waiting and within 30 seconds they picked me up they said nope not no nope, they said not in our lobby because I was still a white button down shirt covered in blood still bleeding uh, they took me to take my information. Didn't even take it all in this other room. Immediately picked me up and <laughs> stitched me up. And then uh, I said, I texted them like, "All right, I'm done." Like, and they picked me up and they had vegan pizza waiting for me. That was the last time I threw a bass off my body ever again. Four years ago. Was it really? Four years ago, yeah. Jeez, yeah. You you were a fucking wild man back then. Timmy would full on fucking like swing like bass like base body like out here fucking arm out stress all the way back that being you said miss, good. that being said miss you portland see you soon yeah mm. love portland uh my name's aj i'm ethan uh the first tour that i ever did with the band we stayed at this very rural interesting hotel and in, somewhere outside of alabama i want to say the yeah. second we walked in the vibes were the vibes were strange somebody said this feels like a haunted hotel so i did five seconds of research there's been a movie made about the hotel called The Haunting of, I forget the name of it, but there's a movie about being in this hotel and it being haunted. I got zero sleep that night. Uh, we tried to scare Taylor. We tried to scare Taylor. He was taking a yeah. shower and we pulled up ghost noises on the phone and slid it under the door. And, uh, it absolutely didn't work <laughs> at all. It was just, it just sounded like something was fucking. It was just moaning like somebody was getting like, like pegged. <laughs> But yeah, it was our uh, I was our, our old tour manager um, that uh, booked that hotel, and we were just like, dude, you know what? This is awesome. We, we'd love to do this again. Everybody went immediately to sleep except for me. I was yeah. walking around trying to find the, the haunted room, but they they boarded it up. Yeah. The haunted room was no yeah, more. Yeah, they, they they destroyed that room. Yeah. Uh, they could have like gotten money off of that though. I wonder why they didn't. Could have capitalized on it, but yeah. but uh, no, it was cool. It was really pretty too. I kind of wish there was an actual haunting, yeah. but, you know. But ghosts aren't real. Just a creepy they are sleepless real, night. I was fucking scared shitless. Ghosts aren't real, Taylor. They're real. Ghosts are not fucking real. They're Taylor. real. No, they're not. I have proof. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> yes, I you do. have a picture of, like, a, like, after fucking flash blur that looks like evil fucking Gumby, and you say it's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's not a ghost. It's a ghost. It's, it's not a ghost. ghost. It looks like evil fucking Gumby. Yeah. Ghosts are That's real. That's our story. Yeah. Mm -hmm.